stigma surrounding rural districts. A Carolina company on display at the Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas. The engineering firm has created a biohybrid vehicle. They claim it has zero emissions and bridges the gap between bicycle and electric car. NBC's Mike Hansen takes us for a spin and lets us know when we could start seeing them on the road. Making a splash at this year's Consumer Electronics Show, have a look at the biohybrid. The footprint and convenience of a bicycle with the efficiency and weather protection of an electric car. So really not, not an enormous amount of effort. As this YouTube review shows, bio is for the human pedaling and hybrid because underneath the driver are electric batteries helping the ride along. Welcome to the Scheffler Press Conference at CES 2019. German engineering company Scheffler is building it. And if that name sounds familiar, it might be because of this. The massive plant with over a thousand workers right here in Fort Mill. Traffic and air pollution in the year 2050 are the problems this vehicle is trying to solve. We were able to ask questions to a company spokesperson by phone. We are building a test fleet uh, later this year and in 2020 should have our start of production. A look at the future of clean urban transportation moving people forward at around 20 miles per hour. So when can you buy one? The company says in the summer of 2020, the cost roughly $10,000. Reporting in York County, Mike Hansen, NBC Charlotte. And the engineers of the biohybrid are even incorporating fitness tracking technology into the vehicle. So that will give users the chance to measure how much